Anyway. Um, so yeah, we know where Tarrytown is now. No, we don't. We know where Tarrytown is now. Let's see these final two uh, tiers then. Go for the one that's right next to a goddamn Lionel. Actually, there might be a handy way to see it. It's a bit further distance, but seeing them from above is is useful. Hmm. Yeah, that's thrown me for a bit of a loop. Obviously, the like it made sense that you couldn't just glide down, you know, and solve the entire Lost Woods that way, but. Um, you can't even get five steps into the entrance, it's... What that sort of tells me is like, you're missing an item or something to even get in there, you know? Maybe it's something batshit, like you have to have all the Koroks or something. That would be mental though. Surely not, I don't know. Stranger things have happened. Like the flags in Assassin's Creed, so... Oh, you're cold. Put a fucking... Do thingy on then. Put that on, that's new. No, not enough. Blue one we're going for. So yeah, I'll, I'll look up whatever the fucking deal is with the Lost Woods. If it is collect every Korok, then yeah, tough shit. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, I guess we're not doing the Lost Woods. But um, if it's something attainable, then maybe next time I'll uh, look, it, look into showing that or whatever. But I believe Glowstone said that sort of, or he implied... Glowstone fishing uh, when he was in the chat one of the previous times about um, underneath the castle is like definite end game but the castle itself you could have kind of done whenever I seem to remember him saying something like that so so I don't think we'll be locked in just by visiting the castle but that itself will probably be a fairly expansive area that there's a bit to do in Don't mind us, I'm sure we can be stealthy with all with this giant mech robot just wandering around. Do, 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 do. Just keep staring at the horizon. I believe you were our first line or encounter. We uh, bamfed you with a Botswana arrow, I think. Which I have got two of now, in case uh, we end up in a really drastic situation. Here we are, and according, yes. So I did put the marker in the right place. Smashing. Let's see what this one's about. It's the final two. I suppose they, because of the random nature of it, they could be incredibly important or completely superfluous. I think we've already seen a lot of the major plot stuff. 
We've seen Sonya get ganked. We've seen uh, Zelda's Dapplegonger being mischievous. As I thought, this is not the world I know. I mean, it is, but you know. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So this is like, so it's true. yeah, early, early. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding. Your presence yeah, sure. is just <laughs> strange to us, Zelda. Yeah, don't put this on me. You, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are able to manipulate time. And your story makes sense. I mean, yeah, I kind of just oh. found this. I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru. I can feel your light power. Don't question me, woman. As well as my time power. That would be a and drastic I, swerve I for the Zelda series. Uh, I see. I'll leave you two to it then. Case, Zelda. <laughs> you had said that you needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. I mean, if you can control time, then yes. it's kind of no issue, is it? In my time, something terrible is happening. I'm falling down a cliff, and Link's got his arm all gooed up. But how do I do that? I don't even know how I got here in the yes. first place. <laughs> wow, Nagi, like <laughs> not endearing me to Sonya here. She's <laughs> Zelda, dear. You don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle? Hmm? No, I. <laughs> no means no, Sonia. That you're a distant relative of ours. <laughs> it is true, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes too. I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Minoru, she may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Minoru, you said? And if yes. not, she can build you a she fucking cool mech. About our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. Alright. Yeah, so pretty. That's just her coming to terms with shit and Sonya being a bit pushy, let's be honest. I find Nintendo games do struggle with tone sometimes. Maybe it's just me, but like. I don't know, she won around, but initially there was something a little sinister about her going, You should come back with us. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We'll get you new clothes and it'll be fine. And someone was like, uh, mm, don't, I just met you guys and that man's got a lot of earrings. I don't know. You keep talking about our special connection. It's, who did you say you were again? Sonia Manson. Oh. But anyway, that's that's filling in the gaps, I suppose. Don't know why I thought I'm. Oh, I'll just travel on foot to the next one. Fuck that. Uh, yeah. Is that the closest? Yeah, probably. Well, that's less than ideal. Oh, you fuck off. Oh my... Wow, it's been a while since I've done that by accident.
Oh, really? We're back at the plateau, are we? Okay, um... I feel like we can expedite this somehow. I'm gonna stick a bunch of rockets on a thing. And you can't stop me. Fuck it. Christmas has come early. Actually, by the time you're watching this in the future, in the future, uh, Christmas has just been. This will definitely work. This is not a bad idea by any means. Definitely not a waste of time. Great. Uh, okay, that was odd for a second there. Oh, hello. Ah. Uh. <laughs> could I? I probably could have hitched a ride on you. That would have been quicker, wouldn't it? Oh well. Rockets never last as long as you want them to. is just materializing out of nothing. Here we are. Ish. Yeah, you're an awkward one on the side of a hill. Right, the final piece of the puzzle. Now everything will Makes sense? Probably not. Okay, so post Sonia. <laughs> Thanks for establishing that. That gives us a good reference. I'm your wife now, Raru. Oh, Zelda. King Raru. Before you face the demon king tomorrow. Tomorrow? There is something I must tell you. That's less than 24 hours away. I came. I came to this era after finding a man underground. Man is debatable. Go on. You really, you, you never With brought this up until now. Stone did to Ganondorf. At that moment, I knew for sure what we found underground, that was him. That, wow, that Still took you a while to piece so that together. Powerful. He continues to live on all the way into my time. In tomorrow's battle, we won't be able to defeat him. No matter how strong we think we are, he'll survive. Jeez, well done, Zelda. You're doing this in the room where all the soldiers are, like, tra and you, training and everything. And you will. You're fucking great for morale, you are. Maybe so. But it is my duty to try. Uh. 
it was my hubris that set us on this path. I must atone for my error in judgment. And above all else, I remain the king of Hyrule. As with any leader, it is my duty to safeguard and protect my people. If I hadn't squandered the entire royal budget on earrings, we might have been better prepared. Raru. Although yours aren't much better. And if it proves impossible for us to defeat Ganondorf, I'll do some sneaky shit. Rely on your knight and that legendary sword he carries. Our last line of defense will be Link. Oh shit, you know, you don't want that, Raru. <laughs> that was a future where you never appeared in this world. You are here now. Yeah, don't think too much about it. There's probably a whole bunch of plot holes with this. A reason you were sent to us. It has to mean something. You hope it means something, yeah. Okay, bye. The reason I am here is to botch everything. <laughs> well, that's enough tripping balls for one day. Oh, okay, apparently not. Oh, hi, Zelda. Ah, the final one. If only we had you, we got you some massive tissues. This never would have happened. Oh, well, that's an appropriate place, I suppose. It's not really a geoglyph there, but sure. I suppose the land itself is somewhat unique. See, you're not... Um, yeah, okay. It would have been better if like, she was actually above us now, but just that one. You're the different one. You're Farosh, I think. Okay, well, one more to do then. Uh... Well, ain't it lucky that I did the shrine here? Gimme, Mick. There's still a bunch of pirates and shit over there. Hmm. Well, this one's easy to find, thankfully. Now the big secret twist. Or... The, or something else. This one's just an extended sequence of Zelda actually turning into a dragon. It's like... All the bones cracking and like head extending and everything. Three minutes of that. That's what this will be. <laughs> ah, the Olympic Stadium. Zelda, how did you get there? <laughs> I was trying to get to him earlier and I... He didn't let me. ...sacred power that can dispel evil. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon. One blessed with eternal life. 
just don't choke on it, whatever you do, or you'll become something else. Minoru, I'm counting on you. If you were lying to me, I'll swear I'll fucking kill you. Here you go, mate. Put that somewhere safe. Probably don't need both hands to carry it, but it's fine. Put a bit of WD forty on that, it'll be fine. I will restore the master sword for you. And then I'll jam it in my bonds. Until the time comes. I will pour my sacred power into it. It will be the weapon that defeats the Demon King. Alright. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. But you look fucking radical doing it. Just completely botches it, shoves it up her nose instead. <laughs> Sorry, I just put the idea in my own head now that it would just be something incredibly dark and horrific now. Yeah, that's, that seems a bit more... I mean, it doesn't seem pleasant even now, I'll be honest, but it's a, it's a far more... Uh, sort of friendly way of doing it. Okay, so you were holding it and that somehow ended up in your head, but... Protect them all! No pressure, though. Wow, you, you immediately started crying then. Oh no, it's just it one big tear. That, mm, that's a bit weird. Yeah, that's what's weird, not the whole dragon thing. No, they clearly established the rules for the dragon thing. That makes perfect. That's internally consistent. That's fine. <laughs> they didn't explain how you can have one big tear that kind of cluster bombs into. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Wow, that was fucked up, huh? I wish she told us she was going to do that. Any greater reaction to this one, Link, or just the same? Yeah. Despite seeing them all, he it makes no sense to him. Oh no. <laughs> the cogs are turning in his little head. Yeah, in case you needed it spelled out even more. Hello. Don't go towards the sun, Zelda. <laughs> Neat. Oh, and it, of course, it's surrounded by a bunch of these. Silent princess. And she's not silent now. You can roar that you hear it several miles away. Oh, and you are actually there now this time. That's cool. Can I... Has anything fallen nearby? I'd like to... I know there's nothing to do, really, now that I've taken the thing out of your bonds, but... Eh, yeah, fuck it. Let's pay her a visit. Oh, 
or not. By the time we get up there, she'll be gone. Hello. I've seen all your home movies. I unlocked your phone and watched all your videos. It makes sense now. It did seem pretty unpleasant, like the whole dragon nuke kind of thing that happened. Even if it's an explosion of light, it's still an explosion. That's a point. I can I've been getting like upgrade materials off all the other ones. Is that true of you as well? <laughs> this is Zelda you're talking about. Yeah, I know, but upgrades are upgrades. I can chip some off a of spiny bits. There's also normally like shards sort of just hanging around. Oh yeah, so there is. Light dragon spike. Cool. Your hair looks nice. Have you done something different with it? Technically, yes. Hello. Oh, you look a bit boss eyed when. <laughs> sort of. I suppose that's unavoidable. Let's have a selfie. <laughs> After what we've just seen. Yeah, no, that's great. Absolutely replace that. Yeah. Smile. <laughs> yeah, this is the light dragon. It's just a picture of a fucking link. Where are you going exactly? I guess our next. De oh, that's. Are you actually going towards the castle? Because that would be handy. Wow, you really look goofy when you're too close to your face, don't you? That's a nice sunset, though. I feel like it might take you a while. Can I light a fire on your head and pass some time? Let's try that. <laughs> this will not work. You never know. Oh. Not what I was trying to do there, but here we are. Thought they might immediately fly into the sky because of the updraft, but <laughs> it's burning wood, but it's not a campfire. Oh well. Are you bothered about that? I suppose I was just I pulled a fucking great sword out of your head. This is probably nothing now, isn't it? Mm. 
seem to be ascending more than going forward. Do you know where you're going? Oh, you're turning. What does that mean? Don't don't fuck off over Death Mountain. We've been there. Can I pull on your dangly bits and steer you somehow? going to eat one of the cubes. Well, that wood's burning a long time. <laughs> Even Link's like, wow, that's, just, that's, that's really good wood. It's not like wet or damp or anything. It's, it's not spitting. It's, yeah, it's good stuff. Wow, I should get more of that. For my new home. That's a point. I'd probably have to do that Hudson side quest to uh, to be able to uh, get the home. Oh, and uh, Glowstone Fishing has arrived. I was just talking about you earlier, in fact, about how um, you were sort of saying Hyrule Castle, you're sort of not lock locked into it. You can do that whenever. Um, we were trying to... We're sort of wrapping up now, but we were trying to kind of check off the remaining side quests for this one. Um, one of which involved the Lost Woods, which I found the entrance to, and then didn't realise that I can't step more than two foot in there without getting all smoked over. So, I assume I'm just missing something, the key to, to being able to get in there properly. I'm hoping it's not collecting every Korok, but uh, it might be. And, um, yeah, we visited Tarry Town. We saw what there was about the Great Plateau, which involved some annoying fetch quests that I'll probably do off, uh, off stream. And then we saw the last Dragon Tears, and now we're, we've started a campfire on Zelda's head. Okay, Glowstone Fishing can confirm it's not collecting every Korok. That's good. So it might be something feasible, and then we can uh, investigate. Uh, ah! Hudson's on fire! <laughs> oh no. That Addison guy would have lost his mind to see that. If he can't bear him falling over, the image of him falling over, then he'd just have a full-on nervous breakdown. Yeah, so Lost Woods might be something we have to come back to. Um, if I can do enough of Terrytown that I actually get a house, I'll certainly show that off. And then if there's an interesting c conclusion to the... Um, you know, statue thing, maybe, I don't know. But I think before all that, we will... Maybe we'll do a bit of castle. We'll we'll at least land on the castle, hopefully. Oh, are you ready for your voice bit, Zelda? Because this is you in a minute, isn't it? With the blood moon and everything. Hope that doesn't do anything to you, turn you feral or something. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I suppose that's not you, is it? That's the evil Dapplegonger. Apparently one thing I heard, uh, you can cook things better during the Blood Moon. I saw that somewhere. I don't know if there's any truth to that. But... That wood is burning for such a long time. It's quite incredible. It's like a renewable energy source. I mean, you've been quite a slow trek to the castle, I'll be honest, Zelda, but I mean, you are going in the right direction, at least. We could probably make it from here, I don't know.
let me put all my aerodynamic gear on since I don't really have many opportunities to <laughs> just leave the wood burning on your head keep you warm this high up wouldn't it stop you dropping any more tears as well It'd dry them all up Maybe at this point Zelda just crashes into the t castle. <laughs> or eats it or something. I'm building a lot of suspense for this castle, I'm aware. Because I think before she was flying way higher up like around the starting area and stuff but do your spectral wings get tired to Lynn probably not right Sorry if this uh, if my footsteps tickle, Zelda. I'm really bad at gauging distance. Like we are very high up, but we're still quite a way off, I think. Oh Jesus! Yeah, that really puts it into perspective. Hurry up! Come on! Stop that. It's like when the opticians blow shit in your eyes. Uh, air in your eyes, not shit in your eyes. If your optician ever blows shit in your eyes, you well within your rights to complain. Oh, come on, don't go in a different direction now that I... S just because I did that. You are, aren't you? I didn't mean it. Ooh, uh, your your face fur is quite slippery, Zelda. All right, fuck it. This will do then. Alley up. Actually, <laughs> give me a bit more updraft than that, if you don't mind. Nope. That's the highest altitude we can get. And we've got the most stamina we can get, so we will see if this is enough. Could be really awkward if I miss it by like a meter and accidentally plunge underneath the castle and <laughs> trigger the end game. That would be unfortunate. Four twenty in the morning, apparently. So where are you off to now? Is it Oh, she's up there. Bye. theory I could land on the top and work my way down. Possibly. That'd make a nice change. Depending if we can get there or not. I can actually re-up my stamina if, if this isn't enough thinking about it. I've got some meals. How he eats them while still hanging on to the paraglider is uh, a question best not asked, but here we are. Oh, 
Yeah, sure, one of those, because I'm at full health, so... Okay, I'm right above a shrine. See, it's, it is weird, the perspective, isn't it? Because you think, oh yeah, you're above it now, you could drop. No, you're above that. It's not quite as close as you think. I'm just here over the radio. Uh, this is a no-fly zone. Please turn around or we will open fire. Yeah, I don't think the location, like, title drop will trigger this high up. Okay, seems like we're right above the centre now. Castle am go. Oh yes, the sky very much changed there, didn't it? First floor? I think not, sir. I think top floor. Yes. Can't keep up with all the places I'm being. Link. Yeah. Link. I know, right? Come to me. I was just on you. I am waiting. What are you? What? <laughs> waiting for you. But I was. I just what? <laughs> Why didn't you say that before? I was I was on you for fucking ages. I spent like a good ten minutes just because I wanted the visual of jumping off you onto the castle. You didn't even really give me that. I had to. Where are you even at? I can't see you now. Unless, of course. It's not Zelda, that's Zil though, the evil one. Whoa, long ladder. Oh, and a very unhealth and safety conscious uh, hole there. It's like this whole place is a chasm. I'm glad we did start from the top because it turns out there was just there's not a huge amount up there, or nothing plot relevant, anyway. That's alright though, I'll take that. For my new house fund. It's far more feasible to afford a house in Zelda than in real life. I live out my fantasies in the video games. Quite like the music here as well. Nice and sinister. It's also a shrine, apparently, somewhere nearby. I suppose that makes sense. Uh, why is it all cobwebby? Oh, I suppose no, you just they said it had fallen into disrepair. Although they said they'd fallen it, it had fallen into disrepair at like the opening cutscene, <laughs> which is just your fault at that point, Zelda. But. Spooky. And whatever's going on will be going on over there on is that like a separate parapet? Parapet? I don't know if that's the right word. I've not got all my castle lingo uh refreshed. Good to find this shrine, if it is nearby. That'd be a good stopping off point. 
Oh god, this is not a great place to be. It's probably... This is like prime territory for those fucking hands as well. Some of the sinister energy and drama is lost by me having this stupid Hudson cardboard cut out on my back. But we're all about that. We're all about tonal dissonance here, so... Sanctum. If you say so. I think this is... Is this where we... Yeah, it might have been where we fought... Uh, old thingy bones in, in Breath of the Wild. Oh, there are some enemies here, I was wondering. It's almost spookier if there was nothing. And of course there's Korok shit, still. Trigger this. Fuck it. Oh, Zelda, there you are. Hello. Ah! <laughs> okay, that actually got me. Um, Oh, well, that, that was less dramatic than I thought. It just turned into a bunch of goobers. I'll blow you away. In fact, let's do more of Mr. Mech. It does always surprise me when the smaller ones can still clobber this mech and, like, have a reaction from it. But... Come back here. Let me zap you with me jabber. Jabber zap. Killed him with a Korok leaf. So is there going to be a few of these to sort of, in theory, wear me down? And Right, yeah, she's disappeared over there now. I see. Well, more of Spooky Madam next time. And we'll possibly also retrieve your mum from the Lost Woods, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll find where this fucking shrine is, but probably not.
like I say, tonal dissonance. That's a, that's a good note to end on. <laughs>